Hi, this is Merz Nerds. What's Merz Nerds? Well, my dad is a big nerd and he likes to talk about stuff like superheroes, movies, comics. What about music or Star Wars or Harry Potter? Yeah, all that stuff. My dad likes talking about that stuff too. They should talk about it together. Well, that's kind of what this is. Welcome to MERS Nerds. Okay, so this is our very first episode of the MERS Nerds podcast. It is. I am Tyler Murray. Hi, Tyler. The Mer of MERS Nerds. (laughs) And uh, this is my co-host, Cardigan Dan. Hello, I am the one Cardigan Dan. Dan, uh, and Dan, I should say that, I should point out that you are the reason uh, that we're actually having this because... Uh, I am a, I'm an idea man, and I'm I am full of ideas and things that I want to do. But you're a doer. It's amazing that you think this about me. It's that's well, fantastic. you're certainly more of a doer than I am. <laughs> uh, and I've been thinking about doing this, starting this, especially for the for the Merz Nerds uh, page for for some time now. Uh, I even got permission from the the restaurant where I, I moonlight uh, at a restaurant downtown, and they've got this great big beautiful table just in this little nook of a, in the restaurant and it's yeah. surrounded by windows and wine bottles. Oh, go on. There with guests and stuff like that. And then uh, we had a global pandemic. I don't know if you've heard about this. Have we had, we've, we've had a pandemic. Yeah. We're kind of in the middle of it right now. Oh, okay. So that's uh sorry. I'm just going to turn the volume up there. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, so this is our first episode of MERS nerds. Uh Give everyone a little bit of a, a quick background of what MERS Nerds is. MERS Nerds is a, a Facebook page that I started in 2015 one night. I think it was May of 2015. Uh, I was really drunk and I was... <laughs> As one would be in May. Right. And uh, we were living in New York City at the time. And I, uh, I was reading, you know, websites, Batman movie news. And I just got so sick of all of the... The, the hate and the the negativity on the internet from mm. from nerds uh, you know whether it's from like fan casting or i hated this movie or you're an idiot because you thought this was good and i'm right and you're wrong and blah, 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 blah. and in in a uh, a wine induced stupor i thought i'm going to start my own page everybody's going to be super nice to each other and we're just going to be able to talk about this stuff because because let's face it it's you know a lot of these movies are you know uh weird wizards and with laser swords or uh guys in tates and capes and tights and it shouldn't be it it shouldn't be the source of anger right there should be some more like levity brevity to the situation you know just 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 love it you know so i i started this page and then i went through my friends list and i like picked out like just a handful of people who i knew would like this maybe like at the time maybe like 25 people Yep. And it's like, we're, and I, you know, had my mission statement for the page and I hit create and I went to bed and I woke up the next morning, remembered what I did and went. Well, wait, 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 can I ask a quick question? Yeah. Did you wake up the next morning or the next afternoon? Uh, I feel like one might be, you know, aligned with your, your story a bit more. So well, I was working nights and uh, that's neither here nor there, Daniel. <laughs> uh, but I did wake up and I was immediately embarrassed. I was like, oh my God, are, are all these, this handful of people going to make fun of me for, for wanting to do this? Yeah. They, they did not. They, they? It, it took off. And we, we, these wonderful discussions started and it's, it's, it's snowballed. And now friends of friends can invite people, like-minded nerds who just want to, who just want to discuss this stuff. Right. Well, have, to have a little chat, you know? Yeah. Just have a little chat about it. Hey, did you see this latest TV show? Did you watch that movie? Do you like doing this stuff? And then people could be like, yeah. And if they don't, they just don't participate. It's, it's super great. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. So, yeah. No. Uh, yeah. So like I said, I've been meaning to kind of, the reason I haven't started this yet is because there's, there's already a million podcasts about nerds or nerd stuff. Like I'm a Batman nerd. There's a million podcasts about Batman alone. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but this, uh, I don't know. This was specifically for the MERS nerds and who knows, maybe it'll go somewhere else and, and maybe it's not, it won't. But, um, but again, I want to thank you for, for being the catalyst to finally be like, no, we're going to, let's do this. We should do it and let's do it. So thank you for that. I'm glad I have been able to at least catalyst something in my life. Well, you know, 
that's uh we have to have like a feather in all of our caps right <laughs> this is true or yeah. uh you know a, a pocket in our cardigan if you will i don't know there you are yeah <laughs> um so anyway most of the people on mers nerds know who i am since i'm mer uh or they have some sort of connection to, to who i am but uh you this is your chance to let's introduce you to the mers nerds family um hi yeah so talk about dan what makes you a nerd what makes me a nerd yeah. you know it's it's um i think it's a fairly you know it's a fairly deep and potentially personal question mm-hmm. um but i'm totally willing to share and I, I think you know before i even say you know what makes me a nerd i think just like the concept of like a nerd in general um i don't know it's maybe changed. it's changed since we were kids it's definitely changed since we we were kids and i know we were talking about this beforehand and I don't know. Did you did you prep a little 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 history for us, or has that? Uh... No, I I was going to. Then I was like, oh, this is going to turn into something I didn't need it to be. I mean, <laughs> Fair enough. Look it up. Like if you Google what's a nerd, or like yeah. the definition of a nerd, it's usually like somebody who is socially inept. Um, I actually I, I googled it. Yeah. And I've got it. Can I read it out? What it said? Please. Yeah. So I've got I've got the noun and I've got the verb. Okay. <laughs> okay. So like it, th- those are the results that. That, that like came up right. and of course i only you know page one first thing I haven't fact checked anything first result first, first result, result this yeah. is it right yeah. so anyways um so the noun version is uh, uh a nerd is a foolish or contemptible person who lacks social skills or is boringly studious so i i mean i, I could kind of get that a little bit i think we can absolutely forget the first part of it I kind of think so. Lacking social skills and boringly studious. We did kind of get into this. It's true. It is another way to interpret that would be like, um, lacks social skills, doesn't know how to talk to people about the things that they love. Yeah. Or like, I I love this thing, but not a lot of people or people in my my immediate sphere like (laughs) this thing. So I, but I love this this thing. And you love it deeply. I love it deeply. It it yeah. it it consumes a large part of my of my waking mind. Of and, your every day, yeah. You know, so I think the the lack of social skills goes like I, I don't know how to connect with you because because I love this so much and you don't. Um, <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm, of as we're I love it so much, I be, I've become <laughs> boringly studious about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it, right? Yeah. So okay, so. The first part of that, we could probably drop it, you know, the, 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 the former, but the latter half of that uh, definition kind of makes sense. Now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the verb uh, return that I got here. Go and I think, I think that's going to like pull this a little bit together a little bit more because I like the verb one. So the verb is engage in or discuss a technical field uh, ostensibly or with great attention to detail. Okay. So that's like... We're we're literally doing that right now, <laughs> right? And hopefully we're, we're verbing this nerddom. We're we're, <laughs> we're verbing the shit out of this right now. <laughs> yeah. I dropped the first cuss. Hey. hey. Okay. Put a dollar oh. in the pizza jar. There it is. Clink. All right. Oh, I mean that, and, and you know we, we had talked about this the other day. So the the second part of that, the verb part of it, I think, is what like the the modern day nerd the contemporary nerd if you will uh, i just it, it's that verb is, has kind of come out of the internet because uh you know whereas before you would you would have this thing that you love and the people in your inner sphere ne- might, didn't necessarily know how to uh, communicate that with you or <laughs> you didn't know how to communicate that with them with yeah. the internet you can just find you can just find your sphere you know oh yeah uh, you can just find the people out there who like really absolutely love cilantro. And there's so many people who don't like it, but like the cilantro fan club, they're, they're out there and you can, you can find those people. I'm, so, I, I, I would be a part of the cilantro fan club. So there you go. See, my, so. The rest of my family. know me, I, I put it in a regular sandwich. I love that stuff. All right. Well, it, you know, that's, you are one side of that coin. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but for the rest of us who like love, like I think of the MERS nerds and the things we talk about the most, like, you know, 
I have found my Batman sphere. It turns out there's a lot of people in that sphere, but yeah. the the Jedi's out there, and the uh, the Buffy the vampire vampire slayer lovers, the vampire lovers, or the horror yeah. lovers, or pick your genre, pick your nerddom. Mm-hmm. They're they're out there. Yes, um, and I think the reason why, from when we were kids, when like nerd was such a pejorative to to now, where it was like, yeah, like you're my nerds. You know, it's a it's a term of endearment. It's because we can, now we're not socially awkward because we, we found the, the social setting to speak about these things that we love so much. Yeah. And in, in like a safe, uh, you know, candid, comfortable space, I guess. Right. Right? So, right. and that's a thing of beauty. Yep. So, so and that's, and, that, and that's kind of like, well, I mean, we could talk about this forever, but um, yeah. to it's gushing to, to, yeah, to, <laughs> to really hit the, the, the point home of what this podcast is, is. I, th- I would say that you and I are casual nerds. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah, for um, sure. I I know a lot about Batman, probably more than your average middle-aged guy should admit to. Know. Actually, no, that's not true anymore, as we just discussed. But um, <laughs> I, I give a lot of thought to Bat Caves uh, and uh, the suits and how he was trained, like it really occupies a great deal of my mind, but I wouldn't necessarily say, and I certainly, especially since, uh, you know, exploring the internet over the last 20 years of, of other people who love Batman as much as I do, uh, I don't hold a candle to those people. So I wouldn't say that I'm even a Batman expert. Um, I, I love Star Wars, but there's yeah. a whole, that whole animated universe of Star Wars between like, uh, you know, when in Mandalorian, when, when certain figures show up and people are like, oh, <gasps> I, I don't know who they are, but I right. certainly yeah. adored the I, the fact that I can just go to Disney Plus and find out really quickly. Yeah, but this this podcast is is for that discussion, and I think yeah. that you and I, I think, is there is there a facet of nerddom that you're like, nah, I don't really want to hear about that, or are you interested in hearing experts talk about? Well, yeah, I think I think I think actually what you just said is going to lead me into uh, um, how I feel about this in my own personal sphere. Uh, but the first thing I need to ask is, are you in your own personal Batcave right now? Is, are you in the Batcave? I'm in my Batman pajamas. I mean, from here up, I'm all business. But yes, from, you, you've you know, got the pants on. Let's see. I've got, I've got my Batman <laughs> I love it. These, my sister-in-law gave these to me a few years ago for Christmas, and they are still the softest thing uh, I've ever owned. They're, nice. They're so wonderful. Nice. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got my He-Man t-shirt on. So th- I've got, I'm rocking a little Castle Grayskull. Sweet. My lovely partner got this for me for my birthday. Lovely. Um, so sorry. So just to get back to what we were saying, that was a little. That was a side quest, as uh, as we yeah. say. With the bat cave thing. With the bat cave thing. Um, I think for me, over like the past, I think like ten or so years, anyways, I've really started to take more notice of things online uh, that are a part of like nerd culture i guess so like you know i got into that website uh nerdist you know what i mean and i watched a lot of stuff from there um i was really into the av club for a while that's like a music and movies it's like a review site maybe it all started with me actually getting into reviews of things and um i'm a big music nerd um i love lots of different music i've got a vinyl collection you're also in, like, speaking of you being a music nerd, you're in your Batcave. I am in my Batcave, yes, for yeah. sure. And it's, yeah, so, like, I've got lots of fancy lights, and I've got guitars and synthesizers and stuff. And I mean, uh, This view behind you, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice view, but it doesn't hold a candle to what, like, it's actually there. I mean, you've got <laughs> a little studio down there. Yeah, there is, yeah, for sure. And, uh, uh, you know, hopefully uh, everyone has already heard the uh, opening Merz Nerd song. Which, uh, which I worked, you. right? Which it worked out. Thank you, Dan. Dan was like, "We should do a podcast." I'm like, "Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that." He's like, "Great, let's let's really think about it." I was like, "Okay, yeah. let's like let's put our heads <laughs> together." Within 24 hours, he had that song written. I was like, "Oh, we're doing this. We're doing it." Yeah. No, I just like it. I just felt good, and like that's my nerd thing. You know what I mean? Like that's that like so like all the other nerd sites aside, just for a second, because that's something else in in my sphere. But like, I'm always thinking about music, just like all the time. And whether or not like I'm a good guitar player or a good drummer, I don't care because I just, I just want to make the stuff that makes me happy. And however that manifests musically, 
you know, like that's, it's giving me joy. Like it gives me so much joy in my life. Right. And it's the reason why we focus on this nerd stuff, because it brings us joy. Do joy in your life. I'm, I'm not actually studying to be a billionaire philanthropist. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, fight or flight, I'm a flight. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I'm not a fighter, but I enjoy reading about him. Um, nice. You know, that's, a, that's a good analogy. Yeah. It's, it's, or a simile. Whether you work a nine to five job or mm. whether you're uh, got a high stress job, like a, an air traffic controller or, you know, a concert pianist, which apparently is uh, high stress. Um, Apparently, yeah. Everybody wants their escape, right? Yes. So, and for some people, it's just listening to music. For some people, it's just it's watching the, a movie or reading that book or writing that book or painting a picture. Yeah. This podcast is to sell it. Our, it's not just about capes and lightsabers. We we want to celebrate all things nerdy. Yeah. Um, In some way, it almost leads the conversation to. I mean, because this is kind of our our intro to to the, the Merz nerds. It is. It's, this is about, um, we want to speak to you all. Like, because Dan and I are casual nerds. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> we know that a lot of you nerds are experts. Um, and we want to talk to you uh, about, about the things that you love. Like one of our nerds, uh, Sayer, Sayer Roberts, he and his partner, Kaylee, just started their own podcast called MCU and Me, where Sayer's a big Marvel nerd. He's a Marvel expert. And he is going through the entire MCU with her and she hasn't seen it before. And they, they, uh, you know, they're for every time they watch one of the films, they record a podcast about it. Mm. And I listened to the first one uh, just recently. And I, I, I listened to number six, go on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's just a nice candid conversation, but to hear Sayer speak so passionately about all facets of, mm. of the Marvel universe. He's a big, he is to, his love for Spider-Man, I think, rivals, if not overtakes, my love for Batman. Um, <laughs> his his nice. love for music, I think you would really enjoy. I know you've never met Sarah, but no. you would you would love uh, his knowledge of music, especially he we would we, he and I did a show together in Calgary a few years ago, and our cast decided full of nerds that cast. I nice. hope they're watching. Uh, <laughs> nice. I. Uh, but we would watch, we decided we were going to watch all the Star Wars movies. But before each film, Sayer would give like this university type lecture about the music of Star Wars. And you can do that because we were all, you know, I think the youngest of us was in our, our was she was in her early 20s. But everybody has seen Star Wars a bunch of times. Of course. So it wasn't about getting together to watch the movie. It was about getting together and celebrate Star Wars. And for someone to speak that eloquently about the music was fascinating. Nice. I want to get more conversations like that. That's what this is about. And yeah. why do you love that so much? Yeah. You know, like uh, the one thing that came to my mind as we're talking about all this, it's like, it's a love and it's, it's um, time put in. It's all these things. Really. It's like, a, it's like your world building, you know, yeah. your world building. And in a way we're hoping that's what the podcast and MERS nerds, you know, hopefully will become in some way, you know, yeah. We're, yeah. we're, 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 we're terraforming. <laughs> this this right now <laughs> this is the uh, inception seed the, the last thing i just wanted to say <clears throat> in regards to like me being a nerd and what my nerd thing is and all that business and i've already said talked about the music stuff and like you know it's really it's all encompassing to me just all the time um the other thing that brings me to what brought me to mersner just you know meeting you knowing you joining the group um and that kind of almost gave me a little more catalyst to just look into more things in that regard. So now, you know, the way that I divvy up my time when I have it is like, you know, sometime I spend. Wait a minute. You have two kids doing school at home. You have time. <laughs> I stay up very late. I get up very early in the morning. It's right. not the best. But, you know, when you love certain things, you, you got to push it a bit, I guess. Right. Sure. But uh, the other thing is just like consuming nerd culture online. And this is what we're talking about. So uh, there's a lot of YouTube channels that I subscribe to that I watch. Um, I'm big into guitar pedals. That's like a big, big nerd thing for me. Okay. Um, you know, maybe not so much uh, the crew that we have in MERS nerds, but like uh, I'm on many, many different forums. You never and know. I bet you they would love it. <laughs> it's true. You never know. Um, so there's that and, uh, you know, things like, um, you know, people do breakdowns of 
the 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 episode of the Mandalorian that just came out last night, or they'll do like, hey, you missed all these Easter eggs out of one division that just happened, right? And and you know, me being a casual nerd, I'm like, oh, sugar, I should watch this, and then I will know more. And all the questions that I had through watching those things, I'm like, oh, that's what it is. And then I can come back to Mers Nerds and be like, oh. I, I learned about this and, you know, I already like this, but I learned this about it. And, and now I'm even more excited and, right. you know, and now we can have better conversation. When that first episode of WandaVision came out. Yes. I, remember, um, I was like, cause I mean, if, if there was a Batman television show, I like all the Easter eggs, I'd be like, Oh yeah, this, 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 and that. But there was a yeah. bunch of stuff on WandaVision that I didn't get. I didn't know what sword was. I don't know yeah. what the name was. Yeah. Um, and I would post it on MERS nerds and be like, what's this? And within an hour, there was, <laughs> Three or four responses. Or less. <laughs> I mean, yeah. granted, this is a bunch of people being like, here's a Wikipedia page. I'm like, well, I could have done that. But the fact <laughs> is that people wanted to share that because they love it so much. Well, you know? And the more of us on there who know about it, the more we can have discussions. Like, what do you think? Yes. Or, yeah. And I think, I think you make a good point there too. Is because like, sure, anybody can just go look it up online and that's fine. Yep. And like, sometimes I do that. That's totally fine. <laughs> I looked up what nerd was. So that we could talk <laughs> So, but I mean, you know, the other thing for me is I love having conversations yeah. and, you know, I don't need right now, especially it's so important. It did 100% so important. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things I feel that has gotten lost with the internet in some ways, um, or like having instant information is you lose that conversation. And even if you're wrong and like you fight that wrong position the whole time, you're still having that conversation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and respectfully. Respect, uh, yes. Yeah. Respect, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's nice, you know, the, the, the beauty of being a nerd these days, too, is, you know, as I said before, like nerds found their sphere where they can talk about the things that they love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we were kids, that was maybe a little bit harder. But now, not only is it so much easier, but we can do this. Like, you know, we're stuck at home in a global pandemic. Yes. Uh, and we can still have a high def video chat. And I sincerely look forward to the day when, uh, if you know, if we can, if this takes off and people still want to hear us chatting about these things, um, that we can sit around a table together and you know order a pizza or you know have the the drink of your choice, and we can be in person and talk about this. I just a round table, you know, have have yep. the round table going on. Bunch of like very Arthurian of us. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> thank you. I was like trying to say Arthur in the Knights and it totally escaped me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> the, the sword and Stonian of us. <laughs> That's right. Oh, God. Um, and it should be said too, like our plan is to like, yeah, you and I certainly uh, talking about certain things, certain subjects, yep. and there'll be yep. subjects for everything. But we, we will be inviting you nerds to, to be our experts. Yes, uh, we are, we've spoken to a few of you already. Yep. Uh, at, the, at the time of this recording, and uh, a few people have, have said that they're willing to come on board. Like I think of somebody like who I brought up before, Sayer, who could come and do a Spider-Man episode. He could do a music episode. There's so much uh, he could do. So I mean, I'm sure there's, there's going to be a Batman episode. Of course, uh, we could do like an '80s rock episode. Um, and whenever we do these, we'll, we'll post links about stuff that we found. And hopefully that will just be its own catalyst for more great discussions on MERS nerds uh, and, and just learning about things that we didn't know about. You know, in the last few months, I've had to learn about uh, being an audio technician. I've had to learn a little bit about lighting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thankfully, you were there to teach me about audio. Thank you. No but, worries. Uh, and it's, you know, it's it can be daunting to learn some of these things. And, you know, I'm not saying learning what a kyber crystal is going to be uh, super daunting. Uh, like building a vocal studio in your house, but it's still fun and we all need some fun. So that's what, that's what this is about. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's going to be fun. I love the stories. Uh, I just love talking to people. You know what? I love laughter. I, I love laughter. Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love a good pee. What yeah. Can I say? yeah. So, and you know, eventually when we can do this together, cause I love pizza, uh, we, we can sit down and we can share. I mean, we could have ordered a pizza tonight and just, I mean, you've had food sent to my house before. <laughs> a uh, pizza, in fact. Yeah, that was <laughs> it picked it up. a story for another time when <laughs> Uber Eats makes up. Oh, shit. In my house, Dan came to pick it up and it was, it was weird. Anyway, uh, uh, I think that's a good place probably to leave off for the yeah. first episode. Very good.
Um, this is just a teaser for what we're hoping to do, everybody. And uh, we hope that you'll you'll come along for the ride. We'll hope that you'll suggest topics that we can talk about. And uh, if you're that passionate about that topic, we hope that you'll come and be our guest expert. And we can do this uh, uh, until we can finally get together. But, um, you know, it, I, I am lucky enough to have found my, my sphere, my people, my nerds. So, uh, you know, let's, let's all just enjoy being MERS nerds. I'm happy to be in that sphere. Oh, I'm delighted that you're in my sphere. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Danny. All, all right. right. Until next time. Until next time. Who knows what that episode will be. And who knows how we'll sign off. Yeah. I mean, how do you sign off these things? How do you say goodbye? Have we cued the music yet? If we haven't, this would be a good time. But hopefully, we need, an, out- we, while ago. We need an outro song? I should make an outro song. We should. I'll make an outro song. Right. Okay, I'm sending you the outro song. Okay. <laughs> 24 hours, the outro song is going to be... <laughs> hopefully, it will have been playing for the last 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. This is Merz Nerds. I'm out. All right. Bye, everyone.